Hey everybody, welcome back to Milecore Gaming and our playthrough of Disciples Liberation. I am Yammer, I am bad at video games. I make mistakes so you don't have to. If that's what you're into, please like, subscribe, follow, share, all that fun stuff. We put out new videos every day. And here we are. <coughs> we are in a weird uh, place. Uh, we, it is a dungeon. So I'm just going to kind of look around here. Who this? Ours, Lord of Chains. You see a, you see, ooh, Atena, Atendi, Atendian, the jailer you encountered in the White Lands and then Wotan's graves, in Wotan's grave ahead. He is draped in changes, is idly playing with a cruelly barbed hook. Okay, so you're not actually the jailer we met. What fever dream god are you then? I am ours, the Lord of Chains. Of course you are. I am the binder and the keeper. You are not supposed to be here. You are supposed to be chained in place. Speak of chains. Earn death. Oh, well. Yes, yes, we all think you're very brave. Please don't get us in a fight with gods. Binder and keeper? Sounds like glorified servitude. Oh, it is. Gloriously so. You barely managed to stop Bagthal from charging the god. Ilmarin narrows her eyes. A look of naked hatred clouds her beauty for a moment. Moment. Why have I never heard of you? In all the pantheons of all the gods, no one's ever written about you or spoken about you. No legends, no songs. You are of the tenth epoch of Nevendar. But there are many more eras and ages, rises and falls, than what those epochs would reveal to you. I am proof of that. Um, what are you doing here? If you're the God of Chains, are you the reason the gods are trapped here? Trapped? The Erdva, the Plain of Slights, is but one of an infinite number of realms in which we exist. The gods are not trapped. Okay. So you're the God of Captives? So you're the God of those held captive? Not just the Jailer, but the Jailed. Not just the Chain, but those in chains. I am the whip that cracks, and I am the skin beneath. The same could be said of you, Nephilim. Okay, I'm gonna find a way out of here. We're leaving the Plane of Slights. Okay, good talk. Where's my highway? Oop, that's not it. Godly corruption. Oh, okay. This is an ability that I'll get. Wotan, God of Ra. Oh, this is him. Abby, someone else is here. Your hand instinctively, your hand moves instinctively to your weapon, but you stop, shocked. The figure ahead of you is Orion, but Orion is already standing next to you. Whoa! Hey, who the? You stay right there, me. The other Orion only smiles. He stares at you, or perhaps through you. His eyes never quite seem to focus. Who are you? What do you want? You came to me, gloaming child. You and the other scavengers who picked at my corpse for whatever power you could glean. Wotan? Yes, or something very near to Wotan. Im impossible. The dead god. <clears throat> Why do you look like Orion? Explain this illusion. Wotan turns his unfocused gaze to Orion. He seems unimpressed. I was once the patron god of the dwarfs. Perhaps this diminutive form is how your mind is capable of interpreting me. Wotan turns his strange gaze back to you. Now then. Wait, did a god just insult me for being short? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. What is this place? I don't understand. We were at your grave. The god vein ruptured. This isn't the Four Heavens. You are the gloaming child, Aviana. The twilight between light and dark. This is a place of neither. Then where is this? Do you not suspect? This is Erdva. The word resonates. Erdva. The corporeal anchoring of the ethereal. Erdva. The madness between worlds. The elves say it is where the shades of the gods rest. The necromancers call it the Plain of Slights. Realm of neither living nor dead. Okay, aren't you dead, Wotan? We saw your body. It was decaying. You're dead. 
I did wage war against the elven god Galleon and won. I tore his heart out and hurled it into the sun. I did fall to Salonial's rage. Mortis, the goddess that rose from that rage, did kill me. And all the dwarves of Nevendar out of revenge. Wow. Well, genocide. Okay, well, on par with the gods thing. But Nevendar is not the only plane. And Wotan is not the only Wotan. Tell me why you brought us here. You're barely able to think of the question before Orion interrupts, somewhat overwhelmed. All right, so some kind of god realm, or whatever, or... And hear me out, we're all dying of mana poisoning and having a deathbed vision. We wouldn't be having the same vision. And maybe I'm having the vision, and I just imagined you said that? Wait, maybe my whole life was a vision. Maybe you were never real. Maybe I'm not real. Solopsism. Solopsism? That's what that is. That, that right there really... Sums up, slopes it. Now I can't say it. But yeah, it's <clears throat> how do you know you're not uh, a brain in a jar, uh, in a vat, or in the matrix? It, it's a, a very interesting philosophical question. How do you know you're real? How do you know that you're just basically not in a simulation? There's no, and to this day, as far as I know, there's real no solution to that. You can't prove that you're not. So, it's, it's a very interesting question. I'm spiraling. <coughs> Abby, make this better. Talk to the godman with my face and fix this. Oran puts his head in his hands. Wotan's grin shifts slightly. There is something indulgent in it. Ardva is difficult for the mortal mind. This is the plane of slights where the corporeal forms of gods exist. Interesting. So, this is where the gods exist. They just project versions of themselves to Nevendar, I guess. Uh, how can you exist at all? I still don't understand how you can exist at all. Unless Mortis raises you, once you're dead, you're dead. Wotan is dead in Nevendar. Wotan is alive in Urtva. You are light and you are darkness. But you are still you. I am a dream, a memory, a premonition, but I am Wotan. Uh, what else can you tell me about this place? Tell me more about this Plane of Slights. I don't even know what that means, frankly. Urdva, the Plane of Slights. A place where shadows of gods rest. Oh, the tatters of my memory of such a place. Corruption has seeped into this memory. The pollution of the rot and royal of Nevendar. Your memory of Erdva? You mean we're inside your memory? We're in your mind? Wotan almost chuckles. It is unsettling. No. And yes, you are beginning to know me. To know the divine. There is no other way to explain it to a mortal mind. This is real. But it is also a memory. A memory that rots. But if this is a memory, does that mean I've already been here? Are you remembering me? Child, you've always been here. And you will never be here. All right. Can I just stop pretending that I understand and go straight to hating this? Um, what can you tell me about yourself? You said, know me. You're Wotan. I know that. What else am I supposed to know? We must know the corruption and creation that trails in our wake. In your world, I hammered the mountains and the valleys. I watched over the dwarves for a time. They led me to disagree with the gods Galleon and Salonium. I ripped the heart from Galleon's chest and threw it into the sun. Melandrak's eyes narrow bitterly, but he holds his tongue. <laughs> well earned. Salonium struck me down. Then to save her love's heart, she threw herself into the sun. She returned as the burned horror, Mortis. You think you detect the slightest twitch in Omiriel's cheek as she glares at Wotan with regal stoicism. You should be thanked for giving us such a magnificent goddess. I murder and am murdered. I create and am recreated. 
The connections between gods, between mortals, between worlds. They corrupt, they grow. You are a nexus of connections, Gloaming Child. The potential corruption that follows in your wake. Know the gods and learn. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to find a way to clear the corruption from the path and get out of here. It is my hope you will. Okay, the corruptive tissue recoils in a hiss of agony. Whatever it is, it is no more. Okay, so we can go up here now. Who this? This is Galleon, guardian of the wild. Oh, so the gods, okay. Before he stands, Cohen. But the madness in his eyes is like nothing you saw in Nevendar. Cowan of the White Lands, what are you doing here? When the figure speaks, his voice changes from the gentle whisper of wind in trees into the horrid scream of a beast. I have become many things, but I was Galleon. Omeriel gasps and bows her head. Melandrak looks at his god with naked disappointment. Galleon, the god of the elves. Galleon pulls at his hair and claws at his skin. Galleon, god of the elves, of the trees, of many things, and then nothing. Wotan ripped my heart out, but gods don't die, right? You look around at the strange memory plane of, of a dead god that surrounds you. I've noticed. <coughs> um, why don't you return to the elves? The elves are split, desperate. They need you. The schism, the epoch that fated the elves to divide, was inevitable. Nevendar is a land of divisions. It is cursed. How is the world formed? I've only heard legends of how you created life on Nevendar. What actually happened? We were lovers, all of us. Bethrazen, Salonio, Wotan, and me. Bethrazen formed Nevendar, and it was the first schism. It tore us apart. Salonio and I clung together. Her tears were the rivers, my seed were the trees. Your world was the greatest creation in the universe, and it was doomed from the start. How did you truly die? The scribes write the tale, your heart was torn out by Wotan and hurled into the sun. But why? My people say it was Wotan's jealousy, but it was not. It was fate. The schism was coming. Wotan's many divisions to many planes was coming. Solonial's death and rebirth was coming. The fate hand clasped us. We are gods, but against our fate we are nothing. Okay. You must come back to Nevendar. We're finding a way back to Nevendar, Galleon. Come with us. Your people need you. She brought me back. But she was... And I was... I came back as Galleon the Twisted. Galleon the Divided. Galleon the Shifting. I cannot go back again. My lord, please. We need you whole and returned. We need you to make us whole again. Shift all you want, but return. Wipe the world clear of our enemies, and you will be renewed. No. No, I must not be bent to others, not again. Not a creature of your world, just a creature. Galleon steps away, his voice following after him like the echo of a babbling brook or the cries of a wounded animal. <clears throat> okay. All right, come on. Okay, we gotta talk to the people first. And this is the High Father, Ancient Lord of Light. Before you, you see Sebastian. Sebastian throws himself to his knees before himself. It's a strange sight. Who are you, really? I am the High Father. The angels are my children. The Empire are my children. You are all my children. Ilmarin laughs bitterly. The High Father does not seem to notice. But, uh, Father, you don't speak to mortals. You don't speak to anyone. Orion, hold your tongue. The High Father ignores Orion. He looks only at you. But you, you are unique amongst my children, aren't you? Uh, I'm going to say, <coughs> excuse me, unique is one way to say it. The demon in you won't quite let you bow, but you nod your head respectfully. Unique is a good way to say it. I am the Nephilim, Aviana. 
I am the child of Haras, and your child, Inoel. You are all my children, Aviana. But my light throws shadow, and some of my children have slipped into that shadow. Um, why don't you save Nevendar? The people of Nevendar pray. For epochs they pray. Why don't you answer those prayers? Your world, child. I never wanted it. Nevendar was a mistake, an impetuous flourish from one of my wayward. It is true, I have often turned from your world. Sebastian tries not to gasp. He very, near, very nearly succeeds. Coruscant stifles a soft sob. Do you hear people's prayers? People love you. They dedicate their minds, they mar their bodies, they throw their life into praising you. Child, if I did not ask for them, do you think I asked for their adulation? I will not celebrate your victories just as I do not relish your defeats. Love is not indulgence. The High Father sighs. He shifts his weight. It is strangely physical, such a being. Why did you send my mother to Nevendar? My mother was the angel Inuel. She was sent to Nevendar to destroy it, on your orders. At my displeasure, universes dissolve into entropy. At my whim, stars explode into being. The greatest gift I can give Nevender is my indifference. That's an interesting concept that, like, as a god, you're just a stray thought could destroy a world, you know? It, so uh, it's kind of interesting, like, yeah, be glad I'm not paying attention to you. Because if I did, things would get weird. <laughs> Consider it a blessing. Yeah. Uh, tell me why you're here. You act indifferent. But you're here, and you're speaking to me. There must be a reason. Because you are something new. Something I will need to turn my attention to. For better or for worse. What does that mean? Something I'll do? Something I won't do? What do you mean? You have time yet before I turn my eyes to you. Be strong, child. Okay. In a violent, sizzling mess, the corruption hurls itself away from you. And what can only be described as fear. That's two. Feels like we're getting close. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. Yeah, okay. I already said good. And this is... <coughs> Hold on. Is there somebody over here? There is. Who this? Ku Weijin, the Faceless. You see a figure clad in shadow. Her face obscured by her hood, lounging by a la the last pustule of corruption. By the tilt of her head, she appears to be admiring it. Your name? Who Wajin, goddess of horrors that sleep beneath the waves. Maybe. Why haven't I ever heard of you? I've heard of no such god. I thought Saloniel was goddess to the Mer people. I am Ku Wajin. Goddess of winds and wastes. Maybe. Maybe? You seem uncertain. I am Kuwaitin. Goddess of whores and bastards. Maybe. I am Aviana of Ilium. Kuwaitin. My name is Aviana. I am Kuwaitin. Goddess of lies and truths. Maybe. What is this? If you're playing some kind of game, Kuwaitin, I'm in no mood. I am Ku Waijin, goddess of murder and love. Maybe. Who are you truly? State your true name and do it now. I am Ku Waijin, goddess of dream and horror. Maybe. I am Aviana, liberator of Nevendar. You're many titled. I understand the burden. Lately they've been calling me liberator. And drunkard. Well, that one's at least deserved. Maybe even a bit of an understatement. I am Ku Waijin, goddess of gibbets and nooses. Maybe. You roll your eyes, seemingly in unison with those around you. If this were going somewhere, you wouldn't know it. Who are you again? Right. I'm Aviana. And you? I am Ku Waijin, goddess of lust and slaking. Maybe. How many times can we do this? Right. I'm Aviana. And you? I am Ku Waijin, goddess of shards and cracks, maybe. Right. I'm Aviana. And you? I am Ku Waijin, 
Goddess of rent skin, maybe. Right. I'm at. I am Koo Wyjin, goddess right. of wine and mistake. Right. I am Koo Wyjin, goddess of perfectly spiced apple tarts. Okay. Maybe. I can get behind that that god. Right. I, I am Koo Wyjin, goddess of blood soaked fields. Maybe. Right. I'm. I am Koo Wyjin, the faceless. Oh, that one's different. There was no baby there. Right. I'm at the young. I am Koo Wyjin. Okay. I am leaving. I am Koo Wyjin. Goddess of beggars and fools. Maybe. Maybe. I like that little. The way they've read that tone is like, maybe. <clears throat> Alright, and this is Mortis, Mistress of Death. You see Pelma, the vampire you encountered in Wotan's grave. She smiles at you, and her image seems to ripple. She is beautiful, elven, and luminous. Then she is horrid, rotting, and ragged. You gasp as a figure before you holds up something shiny and bloody, the heart of a god. She raises her hand, raises her hand, beautiful in light, rotting and burnt. Mortis, goddess of undeath. Charlea attempts to glare haughtily into the dead eyes of Mortis. She fails. Charlea lowers her gaze and bows her head. My queen! My everything! Edgemere prostrates himself before the shifting image of the horror before you. You see him fumble at his robes and then decide not to watch him any longer. Oh! Oh, dude. The dead and killing goddess grins and looks around your party. You see both beauty and skeletal mocking in her face. Soon. Hmm? And with that, Mortis is gone. With the third blockage released, a cool gust of crisp wintry air rushes past. You know it well. Nevendar. Home. We're doing it. There's a way out ahead. All right, here we go. At the precipice between the plain of Slight and Nevendar, you stop. If you step forward, you may never return. <coughs> yeah, we talked to everybody, so we'll continue on. You step forward, simultaneously confident and nervous. Nevendar awaits. So how long were we gone this time? Last time it was like two years. The haze around you settles in a low fog of glowing light, then dissipates completely. You're back. Knives, check. Body, check. Uh, boyish good looks. You're fine, Ori. You're fine, you're fine. Maybe an inch taller, actually. Uh, har, har, har. Orion checks his head against yours, just to be sure you were joking, before changing, changing the conversation. So what do you think that place was? Erdva? The Plain of Slights? Um... I have no idea. Part of me hopes we never know and never have to go back. What matters is we're free and safe. No argument there. I know we say this a lot these days, but this hasn't exactly gone to plan. No, but the elves and undead both just heard the message. Ilion is here and has as much a right to Wotan's grave as anyone. And if Erdva was the afterlife, I'd say the gods heard it too. All right. <coughs> Let's check that out. Oh, okay. Nope, not the map. <coughs> okay, we got a new helmet. Let's see here. Ooh, ooh. That one's. We'll hold on to that for a minute to see. Okay. That's a nice. Divine damage. Who does divine? I think you. There we go. And it does a grants regen. You know what? Actually, I want to work on my backline. So who does the regen? I think you do. 
Yeah. Let's see. Who else? What we got on back line here? We got Physical Might. Oh, that's actually a nice one. This one, Shadow Armor. What do you got? Panic Attack. Unholy Damage and Demoralizes. Warlock. Affects a random target with a Ravaging Infection dealing unholy damage. Ooh, that, that's... That's nice. What about you? Divine Protection and Blessed. What about you? Arcanist. Blur gets evasive and agile to the ally with the lowest HP. Okay. Eh. I've already got you. Soldier grants protected and resi resilient to the ally with the lowest HP. That's actually <coughs> that's actually not bad. Out of all of them, so yeah, let's put him in. Oops, let's put him in. Wow, we're almost level forty. Okay, and I can't put our companions in the back line. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We just earned, we got some leadership points here. I can throw in some tier twos now. Let's see here. Who's this guy? Primal protection. Uh, okay, so. How many? Two. Okay. One, two. They're all level twos. Okay. So. I need a <coughs> tier two melee. Actually. We can go. There we go. We'll make sure. And these are all different places. Okay. So we're actually ready. One, check one last thing. We got all the locations. Okay, there's a treasure chest down here, though. So I think... Let's go check that out. They're level 40. We're 39. Let's go ahead and save. I think we can do it. Oh, that was a lot of werewolves. <coughs> um, I'm uh, rethinking and questioning my decisions. Delicious. Oh no. Just no. a little bite. <laughs> oh, actually, hold on. Excuse me. All right, these are elves and such. So we go with the poison. I think that does way more damage than I think it is going to. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna go 
Ah, oh, crap. I didn't mean to hit that. Oh, well. Whip. Dang, I'm taking some damage. Don't be my strength. I got that heal for me. Are you bleeding? Feel the dread. Oh. Oh, wait, that was my turn? Oh, I was taunted by the guy. Might go down. You yeah. these lands no <clears throat> She's a companion, though. It's okay. She's not really dead. Or not permanently dead. I can hit them all. Trees by my Dang, I hit that one in the back hard. Um, do that, so maybe. Who's up next? 
Oh. Did not expect that. Okay, uh You're done. The Liberator reigns. Okay, I'm gonna have him wait. Get a flanking here. Be gone from these lands. On the offensive. All right. Rivers be my strength. Trees by my strength. I will lick your wounds. Okay, we got this. No problem. Well, I mean, relatively no problem. Pinned in, can't move. Barrel puke on him. Oh. This is a line, so. Here. And then I should be able to. Yep, there it is. the uh, treasure chest and then this one is done Ooh. oh this is what I have okay we're just gonna get rid of that there we go alright now I believe we're ready to head out just one last look real quick. I, yeah, I believe that was the last thing. All right. And then let's head back to Ilion. See what's on the market. Get our, collect our resources first. We're gonna gather resources. And then we did learn, or we acquired a spell, two spells. Okay. Search that. And then an unholy shriek of darkness. Okay. Wow, that does a lot. Paralyzed. Can't act or move? Oh, if I already believe. Okay. That's actually a nice one. I'm actually gonna. Where to go? Oh, 
right there. All right. Um. Thirty nine. You know what? Oh, jeez. It costs not like yeah. Just because want to keep them all, keep them all topped off here. It only costs a couple hundred each. Okay. So now check the market. Um, let's see. Yeah, unless there's like legendary. Nothing there. Okay, mercenaries. Oh, we got a tier. We got some tier threes. Let's see here. A necromancer. What's that? Flame strike. Fire nova. Well, this guy's got uh, counterattack. Oh no, death knight. Not a lot of speed to him. Frost Strike can use Death Knight to weapon for energy for a single melee attack. Or Desecrate. Kaiser around the whole Death Knight dealing unholy damage to enemies inflicts taunted. And grant. Ooh. Wow, these guys are good. Hold on, these guys can I can I upgrade? Nope. Let's see what I can buy first. I can't do... Ooh, I can't do tier 3s right now. So that would be actually... I think I'm just... I'm going to buy them all. If I can. Nope. Oh, here I was talking smack like, Oh, I got all the money. I'm good. Nope. All right. So let's move you out. That'll be too much. Damn it. It's 30. I can do 25. Oh, come on. Wait, what's his back line? Sets the enemy blaze with the highest amount of HP of blaze, dealing primal damage and inflicts burning. Okay, who do I... Here, I'll put him in the back line. There we go. And then... Okay, I need a tier two. Okay. Hold on, let's go get a tier two. Warlock and initiate. Skeleton warrior. I've already got one of those. I already got one of those. Primos. I got a succubus. I need a melee guy. Oh well, here, let's uh. Well, I, I can bring the priestess back in. Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll do that until I find a good, uh, a solid tier two guy. So, hold on. Who has the... You. Get rid of that. You do physical and divine. 
We'll do that. Okay. And then... Do we have any upgrades? I don't think... Oh, wait. Ho, ho, ho. That's nice. That one. Oop, we can do that one. Okay. All right. Let's see who did that mess with. Okay, you need one, and you need one. Okay, we got physical, physical. Divine. Oh, that will be. There we go. Okay. Okay, we. I, I've got tier threes on the back line. All right. Um. Let's see here. Okay, I think that's it for now. Do the companions have anything to do? Okay, we got a couple. Ilmirin. Time for a question. What did you think of the Erdva, the Plane of Slights? Spectacular, no? Um, 